So what can you do with the 192 force? Today we're taking a look at the NVIDIA Tegra K1, which is a reference tablet using the new super chip from NVIDIA, the Tegra K1, and it supports OpenGL 4.4. And what you can do with that is just achieve a new level of photorealism. This doesn't look like a game, it looks like a person. Everything, all the details that you see, the eyes look alive, the shading, uh, the lighting, and everything else uh, looks like a, a movie, a CGI movie, as opposed to uh, a video game. And we'll show you the before and after. But it's amazing, just like you can see in the shadows here, uh, the wrinkles, the way the light is hitting him over here. Um, even like, as you can see, that's semi-translucent around the ear itself. When he goes to the smirk, it's very realistic. Um, can we see what it looks like when it's turned off? So, and, and that's the before and after. So this is without the support for OpenGL 4.4, which is available on the PS4 and Xbox One. So it's an amazing level of detail that you're getting in a mobile platform. And this will be coming to tablets as well as phones. NVIDIA hasn't announced any partners yet, um, but it is a very impressive demo. One other thing that we wanted to show you um, was a Serious Sam 3, which is a game um, that's not yet available for Android. It's on, on PCs uh, right now. Um, let's see what this looks like. Let's see if we can go to the zoom. Uh, as the game loads in the background, uh, we'll be able to tell you that there's all sorts of effects that you just can't get today, even on the powerful NVIDIA Tiger 4. And, and I think what this means is that, uh, is that the K1 chip is offering up to three times the performance of Apple's A7 CPU. And we're going to see that in some of the gameplay and details that are here. And I think what this is going to mean for the developer community is that some of the most high-octane games, especially when the Unreal 4 engine comes along, we're going to go to Android first, uh, and that'll be huge for the entire ecosystem. So you can see here the destruction in the buildings, uh, some of the effects that you see like in the sky. This feels like a console game that you're playing in, in a mobile device, and that's exactly the point with the Tegra K1. And this is a quick look at Serious Sam, and we can't wait for something like this to come to the Google Play Store. So overall, we're very impressed thus far with the, the, the visuals offered by the K1 chip, and we can't wait to get our hands on final shipping products to just to see what this platform can do. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine, and this is our first look at the NVIDIA Tegra K1 at CES 2014.